David is a uh, longtime para archer, talented, talented man from the Czech Republic, uh, well known across the world. He's taken the time to personalize his archery gear. There's John being introduced to the crowd. Nice wave. You see that John won't use his right arm, as far as I know. And David. David is coming. There he goes. He's got the the red, white, and blue hair. And uh, the he says, <laughs> says from the crowd, let me hear you. He has his Czech flag on the, on the hair. She ha he has his red, white, blue hair showing that he is Czech Republic. He is the archer in the Czech Republic. Deep Pava archer, sincere, strong archer. Very nice person, by the way. And it will be, in my eyes, it will be a very nice, uh, very nice uh, match again. And it will be there. First ranked archer in the elimination, who was David Drachoninsky with 672 points. While uh, John Walker was third. John Walker beat Azik Omer 143-117 in the eighth final, uh, Konstantin Donskoy 141-119 in the quarterfinal, and John Kavanaugh 143-142, so he shot three times over 141, that's a very high score. And consistent as yes, well. Yes, yes. While the highest score was shot by uh, David in the quarterfinal with 144, beating Jean-Pierre Antonios. In the semi-final he beat uh, Fabio Zolini 138-117. So I think from what we see on the paper or on our screens, it will be a high, high level. High scoring final. match. Yeah, high potential scoring. for a high scoring match. David has chosen to start out the match as the higher ranked archer. He has the, the choice to let the field of play officials know that he will shoot first or second. As you see, John Walker is not using his right hand. He's using his right hand, but not at the face. Ooh. <laughs> he is pulling a release device with his fingers at the bottom, uh, at the uh, at the legs. So he's, you will see it, it's an interesting thing. So David is just using a normal trigger release. And you see? The harness is uh, over over the shoulder and then swings down in front as how the release is activated with, with, with just the two fingers from John's right hand. And David's third arrow after a uh, nine and an eight is another nine. I would say the eight of uh, David may be upgraded, at least they have a deeper look on it, on the target. And John 10 X8826. So we have a 26 draw on the board with one questionable arrow down at 4 o'clock. We will see. Worst case, uh, it stays on a tie. Best case for David, uh, he will be upgraded by one. So right 27 now, though, until the scores are confirmed, we we're looking at a tie match. The so what, what goes on at the target? Each archer is represented by an agent. That can be a team official, a manager, or a coach, or it can be another archer on the team who goes down and acts in the best interest of the archer that stays on the shooting line here. This happens, this is usual practice. It happens in para uh, archery events, and it happens the same in able-bodied events so that the match can move along and progress a lot quicker so we can bring you match after match after match without a lot of waiting time for walking down to the target, scoring the arrows, walking back from the target. There is both a scoring judge uh, at the target area and a target judge with different responsibilities. The target judge is there to solve any disputes between the two archers' agents on the value of the arrows as they sit in the target. The scoring judge will enter the scores into the electronic scoring device and then confirm via radio with uh, scoring management that the scores are confirmed. And they have been confirmed. We have a one-point match. 
<coughs> the lowest scoring archer will start out the next end, and that will be John Walker. Not by much, but one point. The signal to begin the shooting has been given, and John's up at full draw. A nine, just to the left. Did you see it was up, graded? It was a nine, so it's a 27 to 26 after the first end. Nine starting from John, as you said, David shoots at the nine, so still a one point lead. We're blessed with another gorgeous day of shooting. The wind is registering at zero meters per second. The wind sock just hanging with no flutter at, uh, whatsoever. It's, we've had beautiful shooting weather all week here in Donald Eschingen. Nice groups from both archers. 27 at the end. Two times a uh, high arrow. And the last arrow has been, it's been, it's been, it's not, not necessary. Ooh. Nice, nice response from David. Maybe he just took that first end to do a little warm up. And when you talk to him, he has a great mental game. He had a mental coach working with him. He's so focused on the Olympics, on the Paralympics, uh, he wants to win next year. He's archery really is a is very much a sport that benefits by having mental and performance coaches uh, assist with the development of, of the athlete it's, it's just essentially you know you have a competitor that's sitting on the line with you but essentially it's you and the target and your feelings about how the how the shot progresses and how you react to a good shot or a bad shot and it's it, it, a lot of the the mental performance is is learning and managing that that reaction to a good shot or a bad shot scores have been confirmed david is up by three points at this beginning of the third end here the line judge here down here with the athletes have, have given the signal that the field is clear and as soon as he gets back in his place the whistle the 10 second whistle 10 second signal to be ready has been given john's loading his bow You don't see much movement in that bow arm with John. He's got a steady shot. It's a 10. Nine. In archery, if an arrow touches the line between two scoring zones, it is scored the higher value. Yep, and if the line is not there, you there is an imaginary tangent line to see if the arrow would touch the continuation or the, the, the broken line. In that case, you will see the uh, judges changing target phase because if uh, the lines are getting cut, they just change the target phase to avoid discutable decisions. If and, and many matches have been decided on the value of an arrow where the judges had to recreate the line visually to yeah. say that, yes, the arrow, I could, oh, nice group for David. I think he's getting in the groove. I think he is uh, feeling comfortable out there. And I think these guys now out there are in a luckier position than they are just shooting this afternoon because it's, as you said, not too hot yet. It's a very nice uh, temperature. It's just over 20 degrees, 23 to 24 degrees so it was before. So we will have 10 more degrees uh, at lunchtime or just after lunch when we restart. Uh, just a short note on our schedule. Uh, this afternoon we will start at 1.30. Um, 
Central European time uh, with visual impaired VI ones and VI two and three. So the two categories we have in the VIs and the visual impaired arches uh, from three p.m. on recurve women open and 3:30 the recurve men open to be finished around 4 4:15 with still our medal ceremony. So please stay with us until the end. We will also have medal ceremonies in the morning, by the way. We will have the W1 Open Women, W1 Open Men, where we see now the gold final, followed by the Compound Women Open and the Compound Men's Open, which will finish around 11, 11.30 with the medal ceremony. So stay tuned, have fun, and support your favorite archers of each match. In this case, Tell us, who is your favorite? Tell us online, who is your favorite? Who will win this match? Give us some feedback. David is in the lead. Oh, by the way, he, he's not only in the lead, he is pounding those <laughs> arrows in this 10. Yes. That was a cross. Uh, he, j he hit the X. The bull's eye. H call it as you want. That was a perfect shot. And on sometimes on the screen, when you when there's not t uh, too many arrows, you can actually see that little X that's in the exact center of the target. And it's a it's a delight when the archers can shoot that. I am impartial. I try to be impartial. Yes. But I find David's action here is so good. John is doing his really best, but David, you see how hard he wants to win. And he's so focused, he shoots 10, 10, 10, he shot already six tens, four nines, another nine. You know, he, he, didn't, he didn't shoot out of the nine until now, he just lost six points, 114 out of 120. I know some compound archers like me i'm just a i, I i'm a recovery but sometimes i shoot compound i i am not that good with scope and everything so this guy is shooting compound 45 pounds with the recurve side pounding in the arrows it's incredible I, i'm really amazed these scores are comp are competitive what with what the able-bodied archers are shooting at the world level without scope by the way yes <laughs> and 45 pounds it'd be interesting to see what they would do with the same equipment as the uh, so David, really great archer. John, working with a completely different technique due to uh, uh, his disability, he had to adapt um, his bow and his way to shoot. And uh, as you see, he's doing very good. He is in the final. We have not to forget. This is the gold final of the World Championship. So, John is an extraordinary ar uh, archer, uh, but David doesn't get him much chances to show. Nope. 114. He says, if you're going to challenge me, you're going to have to shoot your best to, to best me. And starting out this final end of the match is John Walker. Signal to shoot has been given. He's up at full draw. Steady shot, nice 10, X. So you may be wondering what an X is for, and in the case of outdoor target archery, an X is used to help solve ties that are determined by score. In the match scenario, ties are shot off. The, the 10 and X count doesn't come into play, but in qualification and in some parts of ranking, final rankings as well as, as preliminary or intermediate rankings, the 10 and X count is used to determine which is the higher ranked archer or the better ranked archer. John starting out strong with a 10, 10, 9, or finishing strong, I apologize, finishing strong with the 10 10 9 uh, David is just needing three points and he shoots a 10 
well placed. Nice, another nice route for David Drahoninski to one for uh, look, look, look. Oh, absolutely, he's excited. He, he, uh, he, you can tell when they've put in the hours of practice and the uh, um, going back and forth to the range and all of those things that come into play with any athlete who exceeds uh, on the international level. That it, it's a joyous celebration to to have it oh now he's now david's rocking his chair <laughs> my gosh he i don't know if i've ever seen him this excited so maybe there have been some trials and tribulations along the way that have brought him to this point too and an exchange of a gift between the two athletes love it hugs from the coaches De uh, absolute relief on david's face i'm not sure uh, like I said, I'm not sure what what the year has brought for David, but he does seem relieved at this at this win, and he looks like he's just spent, both emotionally and and physically. That this is this win. So congratulations, both athletes. Well done. Scores have been confirmed. Archer's the. Uh, Field crew putting up new target faces for the next match coming up. 